Good morning, everybody. Here it's is... official. It doesn't John. start when we hear the music. <laughs> Here is John and Bogdan from Houston, Texas, uh, broadcasting live from Silver Street Studios. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. As, uh, as I mentioned just before the music, if you're on uh, visiting us on live on chat uh, on uh, Facebook, we are on Zoom and we can't see you. So please uh, beg your forgiveness, leave comments. We will check them right after the show, but we're not able to see you live, unfortunately. Another thing you should know is everything we are presenting in this show, it's mostly for sale. So if you fall in love with anything, just let us know, um, either on a chat or on a private message or call us or whatever. And uh, we will be able to accommodate that and uh, make it happen. Thank you. Get the art you love. That would be mag magical. And I think uh, we can ship anywhere, right, John? Absolutely. That's not a problem. So if you, uh, if you love it, we'll get it to you. Anywhere? Anywhere. Oh. In the solar system. Fantastic. Anyway, so let's um, switch to the slideshow that I put together. And uh, very briefly at the beginning, I want to show you guys uh, some of the pieces we want to talk about and feature uh -huh. uh, a little in the show. And those are two uh, of my illustrations uh, that I, wanna, I want you to know about it. They are available in the studio. And John, you want to talk about briefly about your pieces? Well, we'll do it in a minute, but these are, the, these are two uh, works on paper. I really enjoy working on paper. And uh, these are the two I'll be, pre be presenting today. They're kind of in a series. Great. So let's see what's new. Um, what's new? It's We have a new exhibition uh, going on at Silver Steel Studios, and that is The Sum of Us. Um, the, this concept of exhibition, it's unlike others. It's uh, the salon salon style. Is uh, Am I saying right, John? Correct, correct. And uh, each one of us has um, six feet wall and they can decorate with whatever they want. Um, and I, I, I didn't put too much because it's already too much on the hallway and I felt like um, it's very hard to browse, but I stick with these two big large images uh, I had printed on canvas and that it's city people and midtown. You have seen this uh, preview in previous editions. Uh, I talk about it and um, they're quite large, 36 by 36 mm -hmm. inch. Um, I, those are the, the only print on canvas that I have mm -hmm. and um, they are framed as well. And um, they are available. If you guys are in Houston, please come and join us, visit me and I'll, I'll can give you a private tour and show you what I have uh, in this show. Yeah, they look really remarkable and they look like paintings, don't they? Mm -hmm. It's actually, um, I paint with a camera. This is mm -hmm. the whole idea, the whole concept of it. Yeah, I just uh, went out there and just moved the camera as I take the pictures. It's, it's uh, uh, on long exposure so I can get all the colors, the colors uh, combined. Um, of course, I take a thousand pictures and I choose only one. Uh, and and the, the idea of these two pictures, it, they are part of the In Motion series and it's basically um, that concept of being an immigrant and trying to um, connect with places and people and uh, make sense of, uh, of your new place. I'm telling the story. There was a woman on the hallway when this was out in the hall and she came in and she was looking at me. I was talking to her about it. And she said, you know, it almost looks like people. Yeah. And I said, it, it is people. <laughs> she said, oh, and she turned and walked away. Yeah, well. <laughs> Who cares about her? <laughs> yeah. Next time I'll it's do a beautiful, beautiful image. Next time I'll do one with dogs and cats. There you go. All right, and this is your wall at Silver Street Studios. You can see that I did not have a problem with putting a lot out, unlike <laughs> Bogdan. Um, we have these, these spaces. The person next to me has this really big display, and I thought, if I just put a couple of pieces out, it's going to just disappear. 
So I used the big piece on the left, the river crossing that we talked about. It's actually like seven feet tall. I hung that first and then I said, okay, that's my guide. And I, I, I just filled in the rest. So I it's lovely. I have lots of room in the studio now. Uh, I have we to have say that it looks really good. Yeah, it, it, it looked like it, at first it was gonna be a nightmare, but because all of the pieces are gold and green, I uh -huh. think they worked out, it, it worked out okay, I think. Yeah, yeah. Certainly a, 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 uh, a representative uh, collection of my work. <laughs> So officially the exhibition starts on June 5th and ends right. on August 21st. So it'll go all summer, absolutely. Well, I have some pieces, uh, some, some news uh, yes. this time. Um, this photograph from uh, As Is from the Inheritance series actually uh, make the cut into the 2021, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, architecture show in the um, New York Center for Photographic Art. Um, you know, where, where I, I submitted all kinds of things, um, not as much as other times, but I, I never heard an answer for anybody. And I thought, you know what, maybe I haven't been selected anywhere. And then here they are. They're just- Quite an honor. You got more than just selected, right? Yes, um, um, they said that it's, he has the honorable mention, right? And, and, and they only have 20 uh, honorable mentions. And uh, mm -hmm. um, the whole, I think, if I remember correctly, it was about almost 2,000 entries. And you know, we were getting really, really excited because we said, okay, you got into, to, uh, well, we're going to talk about that. So Argentina, maybe we visit Argentina. No, it's an online show. And then we got New York and we said, great, we can go to New York. No, it's an online show. No. So <laughs> it, they're but, coming back. It's just no, slow. I, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely um, honored anyway. Um, absolutely. It's still an honor. It, and uh, I can go to New York anytime, really. True. For a picture or not. Anyway, so um, the next one is Festival de Fotografia Artistica, where my the whole collection of synapses is uh, featured in this festival. Mm -hmm. And um, if you remember, um, we talked um, in uh, previous editions of this art chat about this series. You know, um, it's a collection of photographs that um, 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 seeks to challenge the traditional realism of photography. Um, it, it combines um, symbolic images, um, um, sometimes amb ambiguous or suggestive, uh, um, with emotions. Um, you know, the fact that I I paint digitally is um, I, I try to mimic what happens in our brains. You know, those uh, synapses, and tie together with filaments. Each image shows. Um, uh, emotion, the impulses that connects memories to experiences, if that makes any sense. Sure. And they're pretty. And they are pretty. And quite an honor. I mean, this is a, this is a, a big uh, national photographic uh, fair they do every year. And this is the second year you've been invited. Uh, and featured in Tucumán, Argentina. And uh, it's quite quite the honor. Yes. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And this is, you know, uh, I, I hadn't, this time I hadn't, I didn't need to submit anything to be um, uh, selected. Uh, they invited me as a, a right. guest artist, which was uh, fabulous. So you now, were in before you started. Yes, moving forward, I did apply for a new show in Mexico City, and this is the future of queer. Uh, so I had to come up with some um, artworks uh, that would support um, that theme. So the idea of these constructions, those are kind of mixed media, photography and mixed media, uh, it's the, 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 uh, of the healing of queer. Um, I think you, you created some images as well for this show, um, but yours These are, are great. Yours are collages, really. It's, it's not even photography. 
ex explicitly. It's it's photography and it's 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 cement, it's gauze kind of bandages uh, for healing. Uh, it, it, they're they're amazing. And the idea of, of cement is uh, the cement that I use in this is like, you know, it's time for healing and yet we become more strong. Um, uh, we are we are stronger than ever and we don't break that easily anymore. Yes. yes. And this uh, uh, and this piece, you know, I use a, a, a hashtag because it's a it's a sign of community this is how we find each other this is how we learn about each other these days this is how you know you can follow your own community right and and you're in contact with everyone all over the world instantly it's just a a whole different experience than you know the isolation that i felt growing up uh and uh I you, know, you keep, can actually i will find keep a community. working I will keep working and creating more of our these pieces so that I can have a, a, a at least a series of nine pieces. But so far I have these ones and I had to I had to submit them. And, and these we are can only your submit three. three. And we can only submit three. And this is the same, this is the same show. These are the ones that I I prepared. And the the whole the whole premise of the show is to to write a, man, a manifesto, an mm -hmm. art festo of what is the future of queer and, and just kind of left it open to see what people would do with it. And so my idea was this, this future world in where, you know, queer is always being different. It's not just a gay thing. It's, it, it's, it's, it's being different. It's being unique. It's being kind of on the sidelines and, 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 and at times outcast. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, who is, who will be that in the future? And I thought that is the person who tells the truth, that will be the outlier. That will be the person who is confronting society uh, as, as queer often do. Mm -hmm. What I created was three pieces that uh, are, are, are they're meant to be stones. They're, they're rocks and, and they are illuminated from the side. And I thought, okay, shining the, the light of truth, uh, truth to power, truth to to the establishment. Uh, and then they also kind of resemble ears uh, in my mind. And I thought there's also, a, it's, not just, it's not just demanding the truth. It's not just yelling the truth. It's also listening and communicating. And so I actually have them here, Bogdan, if you want to put them. Yeah. So you can get a better idea of the size and thing. They're very, very different from my other work. Uh, and uh, I find them, I find them hauntingly interesting and, and beautiful. And they are. They are. We'll see, we'll see what what happens in the competition. Either way, it was a great exercise, and I'm glad that that we participated. Uh, it was it was fun to write the the manifestos and and try and turn that idea into some sort of abstract painting. Fabulous. You wanna. Talk about a little your next solo exhibition, Panka Marga. Where are you standing these days? Oh my God, it's the only thing I think about. <laughs> Panka Marga is coming up July uh, 1st through the 27th. The actual reception will be on, on July the 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've gotten all the work is finally finished. I'm getting cuter and cuter in the way I'm doing this. Um, all the work is done. We're getting the last bits framed. And now it's just really a question of getting out the invitations, doing the kind of press releases and, uh, and, and the kind of publicity. Mm -hmm. but, uh, to kind of make the event more special, uh, I have actually three things. Uh, you can see down at the bottom right. Oh, uh, sorry. Let me put it back. Yeah, go back to that. Yep. Bottom right there. We have the Punk Amarga uh, pins. They just came in. They're adorable. They're made of brass. And each person who purchases, uh, or every family that purchases uh, one in the Punk Amarga series will get uh, a lapel pin to mark their kind of membership in that uh, collector base. Then I have the bigger one that I'm showing here, and I've got it here in person, uh, is, a, is a larger stamp that I'm actually using 
this is actually a brand. You actually like uh, can do your barbecue. And so what I've actually done is I'm actually stamping the backs of all the pieces. So that hopefully makes them a little special as well. And then I got the little bitty one, which is for, oh, that's adorable. for sealing wax. And I have to hide the image because, you know, it's still a secret. But uh, I don't know if you can see it. I've got the little sealing wax for the uh, certificates of authenticity that say Panca Marga. Uh -huh. ah, adorable. So this is getting cuter and cuter by the day. Uh, Very nice. But hopefully it will give some real sense that uh, you're, you're buying into something. You're buying into my career. You're buying into this collection over the next 20 years. So uh, hopefully we, we're giving it the importance that it, it should get. Uh, so yeah, things are moving along very, very fast. Mark your calendars. Uh, if you are not in Houston, don't worry. We're gonna simulcast the event on the 9th. So it will be on uh, probably Zoom and Facebook like we're doing now. And there actually will be somebody there to help uh, monitor that and, and give you a good experience of the show as well. So we're getting stoked. It's coming up faster than, than I would like to admit. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, we'll share more news about this in upcoming editions. Absolutely. Let's uh, switch to the slideshow oh, okay. um, let's talk about the feature art that we prepare for you today and these are two of my pieces uh, and i have to say i don't just do photography i do mm -hmm. all kinds of other art things and these are illustrations and um, i love illustrations and uh, how did how did it started um some time ago i don't remember 10 years ago maybe john uh, John and I uh, uh, tried and actually published some uh, children's books and um, he wrote the story and my part was to come up with some images. So this is how I, how I uh, started breaking to the illustration uh, art. Uh, and these are, uh, you know, uh, John, I will uh, switch back to you in a second to show us the book. But these two pieces are uh, one is tropical senses and the other, the other one is evening breeze. And uh, here they are. And I think they are adorable. I don't remember. How about this? Yes, that looks right. Adorable. I just colors. They're so tropical. I have, I have, I have more than two eh, around here in the studio. Oh, yeah, you have several. Yeah. And, um, you know, I thought they are so much fun, so much color. Um, at the end of the day, it's a fine art print. Why not share it with people? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, these are done digitally? These are done digitally in an Adobe Illustrator, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to show us the, briefly the book you have? Oh, yeah. These are the, a couple of the books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crabby Cat and Alpha Wood. And uh, Bogdan did all of the illustrations uh, for these. There's Crabby yeah. Cat going on vacation. And in Alpha Wood is a... Uh, strange group of people who are made out of letters of the alphabet and they they come together and spell things it's really cute and we'll they are illustrations for both of those and they are available in the studio and they are and, for sale. we still have some uh, and online and everywhere you can think of just just say it fantastic now um let me switch back. And Krabby the... Cat has been tested on third graders, and they do love it. Yeah. <laughs> I Those use it in story time. Those are some uh, close up on the same illustration. Yeah, it's something different. And also, I don't only do illustrations and photography. I do um, fine line drawings in ink. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes I do digitally if I'm traveling somewhere, uh, but uh, uh, I just finished a piece. Uh, you have it there? I have it right here. I just Yeah, it's, it it's beautiful. It's really, really uh, detailed. Yeah. And this is all hand done, right? It's, it's quite large and it's called Marina. It's all drawings. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Now, and you paint as well. You've, you've done some paintings um, as well. 
yeah, but I, I'm not proud of it. I'm, I'm learning. You should be. <laughs> You've sold some. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, let's move to the next piece. The next piece is um, surprise gardening is called, and uh, <laughs> like, again, it's, it's a piece I've done some few years ago. I was trying to explore some other uh, um, territories of photography, and I wanted to create some uh, surrealism sort of um, uh, gardening, and this is uh, one of them. So uh, this one, it's uh, actually made from moss, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, it's just in the back of yard, I found this uh, patch of moss, and... Um, it was too small to photograph it, so I scanned it. And uh, with that little patch, I, cre I created this uh, uh, kind of a bush here. You can see there are roots, but there was something missing about it. And I said, I need that wow factor in it. And it's like some, the surprise you factor. You needed a more So I'm thinking, I was like, it has to be, you know, I'm looking around uh, people's yards and they have little figures, the little dwarves, and, I, and I, <laughs> I didn't like anything, but that inspired me. Actually, I remember, I don't know when it was, 2004, maybe we went to a trip to the valley. Long time ago. And there is, it, on the way to the valley is this weird place with fake animals. And I said, aha, I photographed some heads. So I'm going to use one of those as the as the surprise element in this photograph and it is surprising and it's it's a it's a huge photograph um and the the level of details uh, that the scanner can give is just unbelievable it, it those those images are always haunting no matter what you scan and the the black background is just is just it's beautiful now i think it's your time to is it my turn already yes well, I have two pieces I want to share. Uh, they are both from the same series, and they are um, paintings on, on paper. I love working on paper. I love the way the paint interacts. Uh, and in, in this particular series, uh, this one is called Construct Number One, and I did get better at making titles. Um, but this one is called Construct Number One, and I'm just playing with images and colors and textures. I, I lay down some latex paint to begin with that background that is kind of uh, beige and then work out elements. Uh, and, and so all of the pictures in that series are using the same kind of elements and the same kind of colors. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I think it's got a real 1950s vibe to it. Um, I, I really enjoy them. I think they're the geometrical patterns and the colors uh, just really, really are great. Now, they're all on paper and I have them in bags, uh, but what we have found is people can't see the image until it's framed. Yeah. And so you have actually been kind enough to do these amazing frames. Uh, I've got them here. They're shadow box frames and the, the, float, the paper is just floating within the frame and really sets it off well uh, and, and really makes it look kind of as, as rich as it is mm -hmm. in, uh, in the colors and tones. So I have this one, which uh, uh, again, I use a lot of the metallic uh, paints as well. So they, they really capture the light well. So that's construct number one. And then the second in the series that I wanted to share is called Decree. And uh, we've talked in the past about how I enjoy using the idea of language as art, uh, as, as art or, or art as language, probably more so. And so I created this in the same kind of color patterns and, and tones to, uh, to create what looks like some sort of document. Uh, and uh, this one has actually got quite a bit of attention. You know, I, I, I like when people are trying to- The gold read. in it as well. I like when people stop and try to read. They're trying to read it. You can't read that. There's no words. Uh, and you can see the one behind me here. We've talked about glyph, where people will actually argue with me and say that those, those hieroglyphics I created out of my head actually are channeled and that they are truly another language. I'm like, okay. 
Just enjoy that. But the, I think the whole idea here is to, to be able to kind of mix those two ideas that art is language and, and language is art. And uh, so that's what I've, I've tried to do with these. And I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed painting them and I think they, they look really good. Uh, I, I don't know if they would, and, you know, I, I can see a lot of people who might buy something like this on its own, but having them in the series is, is very nice as well because they really do complement each other. That is true. And I love them. I have to say they, they have something special and they look fantastic framed. So much better. They really, it changes them completely when you can see them framed. Cool. Well, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit, Bogdan, about what we're up to now. Uh, we are planning something new uh, this Saturday, and, and we're going to start doing this on every first Saturday. Uh, because the studios are all open on the second Saturday and all of us here at Silver Street Studios open on the third Saturday. So we said, well, the first Saturday in the, in the uh, afternoon, early evening from four to seven, we're gonna host little soirees here at the studio. Uh, so it'll just be me and Bogdan's studios open. Uh, there may be people open as well, but we're hosting these little soirees uh, so we'll have something to eat and we'll just be able to sit and visit and chat with folks. Uh, you might even get a sneak peek at some of the Panka Marga stuff because it's all over the studio. Um, and, and you know, I, I love when you have this uh, small group of people coming. Mm -hmm. um, they don't feel pressure and they can um, dig in every corner of the studios. <laughs> yeah. Look, looking for things that they, they have never seen before. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I really like that, you know, uh, guys, if you are in Houston and if you have nothing to do this Saturday, please come by, we'll have something. Or if you, if you do have something, cancel it. Yes. Uh, come over and uh, both John and I will have the studios open. open We're doing you. pizza, I believe, this week. Um, did you, are you going to bake it? I'm not making it, no. No. Oh. Well, then I'll do the, the following Saturday, maybe I do some Romanian food. Excellent. That would be magnificent. But come this, come this time too. <laughs> anyway, um, we hope to see you. Um, we'll send yeah, some, that's four to seven. We will four to send, seven this Saturday. We will send some... Down, uh, stop by, we'd love to see you. you. You don't listen to me, don't you? I do. I was uh, going to say that, are you going to send some... Um, emails as well sure sure I'll, I'll send out a notice to people as well perfect fantastic this is what we had um, planned for um, the art chat today magnificent hope you guys have a wonderful week if you can come by on saturday that'll be magnificent if not we'll see you next thursday at 11 a.m fabulous thank you have all a great thank week you with us. bye bye thanks bye now